You know Benjamin Franklin. And you know Leonardo da Vinci. But do you know Rosalind Franklin? Okay, what about Ada Lovelace? Maybe you've heard of Katherine Johnson, the NASA mathematician, hidden figures? While women have always been in science, they haven't always been encouraged or welcomed in the field, leaving many young girls without the opportunity to discover their unique gifts and strengths in science and technology. Well, what are we actually doing to solve this problem? This is Flor Serna, founder of Electric Girls. Electric Girls is a program that's designed to build girls' confidence and capabilities in STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and math. We're here to teach you science, and we're here to get your brain moving and get you creatively thinking. How to make a circuit, power a fan, how to use a motor, you know, a lot of, a lot of technology. What if the secret to unlocking our society's STEM potential could be found in a New Orleans summer camp for girls? We have the right to self-actualize, and if there's a barrier to that, then there is a way around that barrier. You want this unicorn to, you know, make a bird noise and have lights on it and fly? Okay, let's make that happen. Because you can't kill the dreams of a five-year-old. <laughs> this is Stand Together Presents. Stories, ideas, and advice from changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. When it comes to STEM, research indicates that boys are more inclined and often more encouraged to enter into those fields. Now, why exactly that is is a topic for another video. But the fact remains that only 28% of the STEM workforce are women, and only 5% of them are women of color. Electric Girls believes that's a whole lot of untapped potential. If the cure for cancer was in the mind of a girl, we may never find it. I started out in the music industries program at Loyola University, one of the most male-dominated of the technology industries that exists. I realize there are plenty of spaces that don't want or expect girls to be in. So what are we actually doing to solve this problem? I decided that I would try to do it myself. <laughs> electric Girls, take one. Through a few iterations, Floor eventually created Electric Girls, a program that includes after-school activities as well as a two-week summer crash course in STEM, where girls design, build, and present their very own, and often very unique, creations. The first week of camp, the girls are learning about circuits and electricity. Positive goes to the square at the top. Robotics. <laughs> They're learning how to code. They're learning how to solder and use metal and melting metals, and then take all those skills and build a whole project behind it. And present that project on Demo Day. Yes! 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 So Demo Day is the best day ever. Their parents, their friends are invited to come so that they can present this project. And she's making a vending machine and she's making... I'm making a robot that I can control. It is very important that the girls practice that like ownership of confidence of their own skills and their own learning and are able to stand up in front of an audience and present and take questions. They're figuring out what they love and what they want to do. I'm telling you, that, like the things that they come up with, I mean, it's just genius. All right, you get back up in. All right, baby. How was today? Today was great. Do you have a checklist for the last few things you need to do for your project before? Yes. What are they? I have a to-do list. Why did the Adams Science Project get kicked out of the science fair? Because it made up everything. <laughs> Elan is seven years old, going on 17, or 27, or 37. <laughs> but she's seven. She's an itty bitty seven right now. Welcome to my room. How Katherine Johnson saved Apollo 18. And here's all the math. She's, uh, she's a force. And Electric Girls over the last two years has been a nonstop learning. So we'll put the positive on one side and the negative on the other. Electric Girls is better than school. I feel like you get to move a little bit more freely. That's because Electric Girls believes that if they provide the right tools, the girls will find their own way to success. Some individuals choose to solve some of their problems using chemistry, some through physics, depending on what they're interested in and what they're talented in. Ellie, will you show us your demo day project? 
So this is all the women in STEM, the hidden figures. You cannot have science without these women. Which I hooked it up to a bracelet for me that I put on, and it's a conductor of electricity, so it will allow me to play the things that I recorded for each woman. She's like learning and gathering all this new information and testing out hypotheses, and then there's like a tension around kind of like what she's gonna do to create this project. And you know what's gonna happen tomorrow, right? Dad's gonna start asking you what? A whole bunch of questions, so you better be ready, right? Well, ah. <laughs> this is a big day, wow. one of many big days. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Right. Let's hit it. Power legs. Power legs. Move it. Move it. Move it. You got this. Okay, so here's the order. Alon, you are first. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alon Jolie Bear. I'm an electric girl. Welcome to our demonstration day. Are you ready? Come on, let's go through a ride through history. Rebecca Lee Crumpler was an American physician, nurse, and author. Because of the things that we've taught at Electric Girls, they've changed what their interests and careers are, and so they've gone on to do robotics, and they've gone into computer science. Thank you, everyone. Electric Girls rocks. And I can't wait to come back to you. Electric Girls has already served over 2,500 girls in the New Orleans area. They're expanding to year-long programming involving activities for the whole family. Feels really exciting because I know it's just a really, it's a microcosm of what she'll be and what they will be later on. If programs like Electric Girls were able to exist at a much higher frequency, then I do think that they would have the ability to change the world. And if this open, self-directed education model were applied to other subjects, imagine what potential could be uncovered. Do you want to be like one of them? Yeah. I want to be like all of them. Stand Together partners with change makers tackling our biggest challenges. To see more stories, follow our channels. And to learn more about how you can partner with us, go to standtogether.org.